to dwell. Yeah. It is a new approach to fighting cholesterol and has recently been recommended to the FDA for approval. In this Check Your Health report, Shauna Lake shows us the potential impact new cholesterol drugs could have for some patients who aren't able to take statin drugs. Interacting with one of the Max Kunzler suffers from hereditary high cholesterol. Eight years ago, he started taking statin drugs in the hopes of bringing down his LDL cholesterol. However, after suffering debilitating side effects, he had to stop. I got to the point where I could hardly walk. I had cramps so bad in my legs. Unable to take statin drugs, Max is currently on a prescription of diet and exercise. Unfortunately, his cholesterol still isn't where it needs to be, and in the last four years, he has suffered multiple heart attacks. Where I can't take any statin drugs to get my cholesterol down, I've actually ended up having two heart attacks. If your body produces too much cholesterol, you're just stuck at the present time. Dr. Brent Mulstein from the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute says it's cases like Max that make him excited about a new pair of injectable drugs recently recommended to the FDA for approval. The medication works by blocking a protein in the body called PCSK9. That protein prevents bad cholesterol from dropping down to a normal level. And by blocking that PCSK9 that's naturally produced, it allows the body's cholesterol to go way down. The LDL cholesterol has been demonstrated to drop by 60 to 70 percent when you take these injections. Dr. Mulstein anticipates it will be four to six months before this drug becomes available. Max says he's looking forward to what the medication could potentially do for him. If it prolongs my life so I can be here with my wife and daughter, longer, that's exactly what I need. Shauna Lake, 2 News. The doctor anticipates when these drugs do come out, they will be quite pricey. It's unsure yet whether any or all the medication will be